Hi, kids. Now let's learn calculating the passage of time in minutes. Let's see how you can figure it out. Let this number line be representing one hour on the clock. And small fractions represent the minutes in an hour. You know already that there are 60 minutes in an hour. Now, hop and count the leaps to calculate the minutes past, as you did to count the hours past. Okay, if you played at your friend's house from 4 to 4.30, how long did you play at your friend's house? You need to hop 30 times to reach 4.30 from 4 o'clock. So 30 minutes are there between 4 o'clock and half past 4. Hence, you played for 30 minutes at your friend's house. See the next figure. Paul went to the park at 3 and came back home at 3.30. For how long was he in the park? You need to hop 30 times to reach 3.30 from 3. So, 30 minutes are there between 3 o'clock and half past 3 or 3.30. Hence, Paul spent 30 minutes in the park. If Kenny wants to fly to Mexico, the flight takes two long hours. What time will he get there if he leaves at 10.30? Let me help you figure it out. Let this number line be representing the clock. And each small fraction represents a half hour. You know already that there are 30 minutes in half hour. Now, hop four times to make it two hours and you'll get the time Kenny will reach Mexico. 10.30 to 11, first half hour is past. 11 to 11.30, second half hour is past, so one hour is past. 11.30 to 12, third half hour is past. 12 to 12.30, fourth half hour is past, or two whole hours are past. And it is 12.30 now, so Kenny will reach Mexico at 12.30. Good! Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.